everybody. Happy Sunday to you all. I hope you guys had a fabulous weekend and are looking forward to a nice, uh, fun, productive week ahead. So coming at you with my top five cigars for this week of smoking. Hopefully you either have them in your humidors or you can readily find them. I try to provide those links for you guys every week so it's a little bit easier um, if you are having to restock the humidor. So starting with number five, this week we have a Charter Oak. This is kind of a uh, wallet friendly stick, if you will. Um, beautiful blend on it, great flavor profile, available in a couple different options, but I like uh, particularly the Connecticut version of the Charter Oak blended by Nick Melillo of Foundation Cigars. As I mentioned, it's a wallet friendly price point, um, the Charter Oak, and it's featuring a nice flavorful Connecticut shade wrapper, Sumatra binder, and Nicaraguan filler. You get the creamy, um, subtle chocolate, a little bit of an oakiness to it, and light vanilla. So to me, it makes it a perfect uh, accompaniment to that morning cup of coffee. Number four this week, we have the La Aurora Ruby, an old classic, a Brazilian Maduro wrapper on that one, Dominican binder, Brazilian, Peruvian, and Nicaraguan on the filler, dark chocolate, espresso, a nice heavy cedar, and a little bits of pepper throughout the uh, entire smoking experience. But again, kind of an old classic uh, with that beautiful La Aurora um, Preferido line, but you can also find the Ruby now in some different Vitolas, so it's great. Number three, we have the Protocol Probable Cause. Uh, no stranger on my lineup. I've had a lot of different uh, Protocol cigars on there. They make fabulous sticks. They're made at the Espinosa factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Hey, Nika. I have my little, my little babies here doing her little video. I don't know if she's coming out in the camera or not, but Nika's jumping in to say hi. <laughs> um, Anyway, made at the La Zona factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Uh, San Andres Maduro wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. This is a nice little box pressed beauty. Uh, chocolate notes, cedar, dried cherry. You get um, a little bit of black pepper kind of in the background in and out of the different uh, thirds as you smoke it through, but definitely a worthy smoke. Number two is a cigar that always reminds me of my oldest brother, Ari, the Ashton VSG. That's probably his favorite cigar of all time. Um, fabulous offering <clears throat> using um, nothing but the best from the Chateau de Fuente uh, farm. So we have the Sumatra Seed Ecuadorian Sun Grown Wrapper, uh, binder and filler again from that lovely Chateau de Fuente. It's extra aged, a nice full body and a long finish. You get the beautiful notes of dark chocolate, pepper, a nice cedar aroma to it. It's creamy, you get a slight spiciness from it. Sometimes you pick up little earth notes and espresso. Beautiful offering again, the Ashton VSG, another classic. It should be um, one of those cigars that you have on hand in your humidor at any given time. <laughs> it's definitely worthy of um, a box or two to have on hand. Number one this week is the High Clear Castle Edwardian. This is the first offering from the High Clear Castle lineup that was blended also by Nick Melillo of Foundation Cigars um, in a collaboration with the High Clear Castle team, if you will. They also have a beautiful gin that is available now that accompanies this cigar just beautifully. In fact, if you stay tuned for Tuesday, I will be releasing a nice little pairing, uh, kind of a spoiler alert that's coming. So make sure you tune in to my channel this coming Tuesday for that video. Um, this one is using just an absolutely luxurious Connecticut shade wrapper, Brazilian Matafina on the binder, and a nice Nicaraguan filler. You get notes of vanilla wafer, light cedar, light pepper, um, beautiful caramel spice, and a nice little toasted earth. And again, those notes are, are accentuated and just really, really powerful, if you will, um, for the overall smoking experience when paired with the Highclere Castle Gin. So just a, a gem of a pairing, definitely one that's recommended. And again, um, you can see more about that on Tuesday when I release that pairing video for you guys. So. Thanks again for tuning in, and hopefully the, uh, the outdoor slight wind that was picking up didn't 
you know, ruin the audio on the video. Sometimes that's one of those things with filming outdoors, but um, I really found that it's very peaceful to sit out here uh, and smoke a nice cigar. So hopefully you don't mind the, the change up in the scenery. And um, as always, I thank you guys for hanging out and tuning in on your Sundays and have a fabulous week. Cheers.